Hello, this is Ticket from Ticket.tumblr.com, and today I'm going to show you how to, <coughs> excuse me, um, install Google Chrome Unstable or Beta alongside Google Chrome Stable. Now, um, supposedly you're running Chrome Stable, and you want to test out features in the Unstable or Beta versions. Now, how would you do that without, um, now normally when you would install a, uh, a deb file from like this one here if, if you were to install it normally it would overwrite the chrome stable now how would you install it so it won't overwrite it well the answer is you would install it manually now here's how you would do it um, first of all go to uh, google.com forward slash chrome yes And we'll get you to this website. Go down here, get Google Chrome Beta Developer Release. Go down. And we're using Linux for this one, and I'm personally using um, Ubuntu 10.4, although this will work, should work for Fedora and SUS. Um, so go ahead and download the either Chrome Unstable Deb or Chrome Beta Dev. And I'm gonna download this one. Personally, I already have it here. So let's get right to the tutorial. Normally, if you would click on it, it would open up a window that would tell you to install it. However, we're not gonna do that. We're going to install it manually. We're gonna install it manually. So, here's what you would do right click on it, you extract here. You're gonna quickly extract the files. Open up that folder, you'll see three files. Delete, Debian binary, and control.tar.g. All we need here is tar.lzma. Click on that. Go inside the dot. Extract the out. Okay. Close that window up. You can now delete the data.lzma. Go inside opt. Google, Chrome. Here's your pretty much your directory. All you will need now is the Google. I got out here. All right, now we go inside Google and rename this Chrome Dash Unstable. All right, now go inside that and where you see Google Chrome, right click on it. it says Make Link. Drag this link to your desktop. Wait. Alright, hang on. Don't do that just yet. Um, what, what you do now is uh, press Alt F2. We're in GKSU. And the U Tylus. This will run the file browser in root mode. So you can put this in opt without going to the command line. Yeah, go ahead and go to that little thing here. And go inside opt. Um, opt. Right here. Now, as you see, I don't have a Google, but if you do have a Google folder, well, I, oh, actually, I do have a Google folder. And that's my old Chrome cell. But anyway, go inside your Google folder and you drag and drop Chrome Unstable to here. Alright? Now you close out this window. Now go inside Chrome on Stable. Go inside Google Chrome and just make link. Link to Google Chrome. Go and drag this out here. Alright. And rename it um, Chrome Unstable. Now. Alright. Now you can go ahead and click back here. You go to. Uh, Yeah. You can go ahead and go down to USR bin. It's gonna take a little while to load. And go ahead and drag and drop Chrome Stable in here. Drag and drop. Click on it. Run. It's gonna load Google Chrome. Now what this has done 
is if, well, if you press Alt F2, it'll run Chrome unstable, it runs Google Chrome. That's pretty much all it does, just for the convenience sake. Let me go ahead and move this to the trash. Let's move this to the trash. Now, last step is to go ahead and edit your menu. Right click on your menu, click Edit Menu. Go to Internet. And I actually already have this, but right, just to show you guys again. New item. Google Chrome. Unstable. When you click for the command, type in just Chrome Unstable or whatever you name that file. For your icon, go down here. Go to Opt. Google, Chrome Unstable, Prologo 256.png. And browse the web. Okay, you should see the menu entry. Go ahead and click close. And it's right here. You click on it, it opens up Chrome. And that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.